Hi, I'm Krista Byrne for Bass City Beat. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Tuning Point provides resources and programs to survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. Turning Point began in 1890 through the grassroots efforts of community volunteers who wanted to provide a safe place for victims of domestic violence. In 1986, sexual assault intervention and prevention were added to their mission. Turning Point is a support system for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. Um, we have a ton of different programs that all encompass Turning Point. Turning Point has a long history of providing advocacy for domestic and sexual assault survivors, both locally and throughout the state of Michigan. Well, one of the things we like to do is actually promote domestic violence awareness month. So we pass out purple ribbons, we hold a lot of events, uh, we do a lot of different things to promote that the fact that October is domestic violence month, because obviously that's something very near and dear to us. Domestic violence isn't just a woman's problem or a problem for couples, it's, it's a community problem. Um, one in four women will be touched by domestic violence, and so if you're in a room with 30 30 women, you have to think a quarter of them are going to be touched by domestic violence. And I think that's really important to let people know that it's, it's very prevalent, it's very underreported, there's something they can do about it, and that they need to get involved. Turning Point's philosophy is to serve the community by educating about the dynamics of domestic violence and sexual assault. I'm very proud of our domestic um, violence prevention education. And actually it's not just domestic violence, but we have a whole prevention education team. They go into the schools, and they probably were in your school at one point, and they go and they talk to high school and middle students about healthy relationships, um, what they can do if a friend is in trouble in a domestic violence situation. Or, you know, uh, domestic violence doesn't have to be between people who are married. It can be a, a boyfriend, girlfriend. So we teach the kids what they can do to be an active bystander, to help their friend, or if there's domestic violence in their friend's home, in their home so we give them a lot of different tools we spend actually two days with the kids um, over the course of the class I would say the biggest misconception is that it's the victim's fault or that they always say why doesn't she just leave and it's never that simple and it's never the survivor or victim's fault um, the question really isn't why doesn't she leave the question is really why doesn't he stop abusing so that's why I think the biggest myth out there it would be those two things and that there's nothing you can do about it Turning Point recognizes the importance of empowering people. They work to end violence by providing counseling, support, advocacy, and a safe haven. So if somebody is having issues with domestic violence, um, the first thing I would say was call our crisis line, and that number is 586-463-6990. Crisis line will be able to give you resources. You know, every situation is different. If somebody's in immediate danger, you know, we can take them and put them up at the shelter. Maybe they just need counseling. It, again, it depends. Maybe they need a PPO. We have all kinds of different services and resources, so lots of times that first contact is called the crisis line, or they can reach out to us on our website, either one. But Crisis Line is a, is a big one. Look to spread the word this month by wearing purple. If you or someone you know could benefit from Turning Point's resources, contact the number on the screen and take the first step to regaining control of your life. For Bass City Beat, I'm Krista Bryant.